put your ass in jail, nigga. I'm every boy, my boy, you making threats to the promoter? I got a recorded phone conversation with witnesses on the phone saying the promoter is scared for his life that he got to live in Baton Rouge that Boosie go send them people to get you. He said he can't have the show because Boosie goes. I said, nigga, I just hired the police. The promoter scary. Scary as nigga. Yeah, nigga, Boosie is. And I bet he don't want to get in that boxing ring. See, Boosie, you going to try to send somebody, but you ain't going to do nothing. That's nigga. I'm going to put your in jail, nigga. I'm waiting for the FBI to send me the right kind of number, nigga, because I'm finna make a report on your mother and people. And you make the man, the man call your name specifically. The promoter specifically says your mother name, little Boosie. He implemented you and implicated you. Nigga, you finna go to jail. Back to jail. You gonna be on your knees, but them knees gonna be bleeding again. Diabetic freak. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in once again on Charleston White, doing his usual when it comes to the internet, as I like to call it, highlighting all the capital C's. Controversy, chaos, conflict, confusion, and confrontation, as he has had a few of those over the last year or so, with things that pop off in public with him, as he did got very disrespectful, as he does online at times, as he does in person at times, causing playing the character and everything like that. Well, now he jumped out there and made some threats to Boosie about the FBI, and I'm a hundred percent against this type of stuff. Now, I don't know if this actually went down behind the scenes with this club promoter, as I see it hitting the blogs and stuff like that in Baton Rouge, where Boosie is from, but hearing a black man talking about calling the FBI on another black man for jokes, for real, for play, for uh, clout, for chaos, for confusion, or for shock jock, I'm against it because it sends a mixed message, bro. The FBI is not for us. The FBI was, you know pushed by J. Edgar Hoover back in the day to take down the people that was protecting us as black people. So for me to see a black man say they gonna call the FBI specifically on another black man who's under federal charges, I don't even like that as a joke. I don't even like that as shock jock. Just keeping it all the way thousand, bro. Now, Boosie had did say before, hey, if you rock it with Charles the White, I can't rock with you and everything like that. But let's be a thousand. They have went on the same platforms after that. I think the Danza project has booked both of them. Now, Vlad did just try to pull a move recently, which I was backing Charles the White on from my opinion and my stance because of the way the situation goes. I separate things. I'm not going to let Vlad, in my opinion, dictate the narrative in the conversation of you telling Aiden Ross he out of pocket and out of line for booking Charles the White for an interview with the type of stuff that you push, promote, and perpetuate on your platform and you profit from all black ignorance, chaos, nonsense, confusion, and things like that, and you're not black. So I looked at that as we got two Jewish dudes, an older man that's like 50, and a young 22-year-old who got they good niggas on the side of them who bring in good revenue. You can't tell him he better than the other one and everything like that at all when you've also worked with Charleston White yourself. So I back, I'm with Charleston on that, nigga. We not using, did he use the Jewish card there where he's disrespected the Jewish community. Nigga, Charleston White has disrespected every community, including his own. We keeping it all the way a thousand. So we not going to do the pick and choosing in the race card on a black man. I stand with Charleston on that. But this right here with this FBI, right now, this is where the message get lost, Charleston. And I see this hitting all these blogs and stuff. I can't rock with that, dog. Not with that FBI nonsense because they haven't done anything for the black community but try to tear us down. They was government created, early 1900s. And we know what the police system started as in America as well. Yeah, they want to do this. Yes, have they done services for our people? For sure they have. But let's think about it. Have they done more damage than, than positive? Let's keep it a thousand now. We talking hundreds of years of damage, hundreds of years of enforcing separation, hundreds of years of forcing trauma, hundreds of years of forcing laws to make our people feel like we less than. So if Boosie trying to block you with bad rules and threatening people, now he shouldn't be doing that. At the same type of time, I don't think he's doing that. I would think Boosie is moving smarter than that, but now it's looking like you antagonizing him, talking about you from the call of FBI. 
I can't stand with that at all. I don't care what nobody say. Any nigga that's pushing that line, it is what it is with me. Not with what this FBI has showed me in American history. And I'm going to keep saying it to y'all time and time again. And for all you Sambo Coon house niggas who don't get it, get your information up, nigga. We only been desegregated in America for 60 years, nigga. My grandmother is 93, nigga. She was grown. I have aunties that's older who went through segregation, nigga. They were adults when segregation ended. Nigga, and they never got acknowledged. The government never came back and said, hey, we apologize. They tell niggas, hey, bro, y'all need to forget about that. Why are you complaining about slavery? But when other races or groups or, or different types of situations of people or organizations complain, talk, and outraged about disrespect towards them, they get a, sma a slap on the back. They get courage awards. But niggas, oh, y'all just complaining. Victim mentality. Let's get this conversation in order. Yes, you shouldn't expect nothing from these people. Yes, you shouldn't think that they're going to do right by you. But if a nigga want to speak out, he can speak out and he got the right to vent until if you ain't never told nobody else to shut up with the complaining. And I'm talking about the sexuality groups. I'm talking about races and I'm talking about religions, my nigga. Everybody else getting compensated. So, hey, we not highlighting and uplifting none of these government things until they do right by black people. That's just why I stand at it. Charles the White gonna troll and do what he do, but I'm gonna use what he putting out there to get y'all on here to put some real information in the air for you. Look everything I'm talking up, nigga. I got real live people who went through this stuff, nigga. I don't even gotta look it up because I know what it is already. Tell me what y'all think. We got more coming, more videos, all at 1000 for shit show. Stay on your feet. And I bet he don't want to get in that boxing ring. See, Boosie, you gonna try to send somebody, but you ain't gonna do nothing. That's nigga. I'm gonna put your.